What's up guys, Jordan Angino here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this caviar, psych, not caviar. These are pearls of balsamic vinegar. How do I make it? Using science and food, otherwise known as molecular gastronomy. Let's get started. First to start, we're gonna have our oil ready to go, and then of course our three main ingredients which we have to let boil and become friends. Balsamic, sugar, and agar agar, which is a gelatinizing agent made from algae. We're gonna whisk it around for like about a minute. Just be careful not to burn your hand like I'm doing right now. I'm kind of old school, so in terms of, <laughs> it's a lot of vinegar, <laughs> big vinegar, came in my mouth. Um, in terms of like molecular gastronomy and you know this kind of new way of cooking, I'm a traditionalist, so this is about as far to the molecular gastronomy, food science world that I will delve into. You know, for the, the home cooks who are a little more advanced, this is the perfect way to get into that world, and it's a good introduction. So now that it's boiling, we're gonna cut the heat, and like I said, we're gonna let this come down to 55 degrees Celsius. As we let this cool, I shall show you my chilled olive oil. So we're gonna use this, which is just like a dropper or a pipette. Pipette. So eventually, once this cools, we're gonna use the balsamic, take it and put it right here into this semi-frozen olive oil. Now, why does it have to be semi-frozen? Great question. Thanks for asking. When the hot or like warm liquid of the balsamic hits the actual olive oil, it needs to form that like perfect drop. This is how you do it. The contrast between the hot liquid to this cold is what helps you get those perfect spheres. You wanna put it in the freezer for about 45 minutes and that way it becomes the right viscosity or gooiness that you need to put the balsamic into the oil. Let's check the temp. 55, okay, it only took three hours. Now we're ready to go. It didn't actually take three hours, I'm just exaggerating. Okay, let's do it. So, get the suction ready, and then just gonna go whoop. So we're going to drip it straight in. As it cools, the balls will form, and then they'll actually start to sink to the bottom. When they start to sink to the bottom, you know they're ready. It's raining balls, hallelujah. Goodness gracious, great balls of balsamic. Now, all the lovely pearls are set into my cold liquid. So, you gotta fish it out of the oil, and voila. Now it's poured on, and now you can see how the pearls react. Look at that. They're not breaking. You can even pick up the pearls, so this is proof that I'm not lying. This is how you know, because how often can you pick up a liquid? You can't, because we got balsamic pearls. Mm. Ooh. It woke me up a little bit. There you have it, balsamic pearls. Try them at home. And go be a molecular astronomist scientist thing person. Have fun. Jordan out.